Fossil fuels get all the attention. But carbon emissions also come from some surprising places, like decaying plants, and even from the soil itself. There was hope that corn ethanol would be a clean, homegrown fuel. But when we plow grasslands or cut down shrubs and trees to grow corn for ethanol, we can create a carbon debt that can make ethanol worse than gasoline in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. Here's how. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere enters plants through the process of photosynthesis. As plants grow, absorbing water and sunlight, they store carbon in shoots, leaves, flowers, and roots. Over the years, carbon slowly builds up in the soil. And even after plants decompose, some of their carbon remains in the soil. Think of all this as carbon in the bank. So what happens if these shrubs and grasses are tilled to plant corn or other crops? The carbon stored as organic material in the soil and roots is released into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. This release from the bank incurs a carbon debt. How can we repay it? Well, first let's keep in mind that when you exclude carbon debt, making and using corn ethanol emits less carbon dioxide into the atmosphere compared to gasoline. Therefore, for each year that we grow corn on the converted land, turn that corn into ethanol, and use it in our cars, we get a small carbon credit. However, scientists say it can take decades to repay the debt using these credits, and until that point is reached, corn ethanol produced on converted land will be worse than gasoline in terms of CO2 emissions. But wait a second. Scientists are also concerned that growing corn for ethanol may lead to deforestation in the tropics, and therefore more carbon emissions. So if we want biofuels that help reduce our overall emissions of carbon, we have to think carefully about how we use our land, and there may be some answers. For example, using grasses like miscanthus instead of corn to make ethanol would require less fossil fuel for production. This allows the land to remain intact and keeps carbon in the soil and out of the air. I'm Jessica Harrop for Climate Central. To learn more about the role of carbon emissions in climate change, explore our website, climatecentral.org.